I've come to understand that one of my failings as a teacher is that I talk about myself too often. I'm a bit, I suppose, of a narcissist or an egotistical person. And and here's the story with this, you know. Uh, I've been teaching for about eight years now at a couple different high schools, and I'm reading textbooks, and they all give the same little picture of the... Um, arrows and the targets describing the difference between accuracy and precision. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. But, you know, in those 20 years I spent as a scientist, I, I didn't hear anybody talk about it like that. They used them interchangeably. So when we discuss this, I'm going to go ahead and show you the scientific viewpoint and the common language viewpoint. This is accuracy and precision. We'll learn the difference for scientists and let's learn about what the deal is in common usage. Let's apply this to the terms qualitative and quantitative. This is screencast 2.7. There's your targets with your arrows shooting into them. And the classic way of teaching this is to say, that is accurate. That one, oh, it's also, uh, well, it's not accurate, but at least it's precise. Notice how they're near each other, but nowhere near the center. And here they apparently are both nicely stacked up right in the bullseye. And that's horrible. Neither. Based on that, you should be able to come up with some dis uh, definitions. Accurate must mean like that bullseye. It's what's the correct answer. Not accurate, but precise means your data is consistent. It's always giving you the same numbers, but it's wrong, which is pretty bad, really. And here's what you really would want, I suppose. You know, it's um, it's uh, it's accurate and precise. It's both there, and that's neither. Now, why is it they're being used interchangeably so often? Look at this. This is a Wikipedia-type definitions of accuracy. The, quali the quality of being correct or, that should be an R there, precise, oops, talking about correctness, and I got a typo, but there it is. Anyhow, um, look at that. Precise is used to define accuracy. When they define precision, the quality of being exact and accurate, they're using accuracy when defining precision. No wonder... Uh, non-scientists could care less about this since they're interchangeable in common usage. Have I heard of scientists using these sorts of things commonly? No, but I don't hang out with the analytical ca uh, scientists as much. So, hey, maybe it's, maybe it's uh, important in some fields of science. So we'll show you both the scientific definition there and notice the common usage of the term is, um, is there. Uh, check these out. Check out some definitions. Look it up in your Webster's Dictionary, and you should convince yourself that, oh, yeah, they're, like, totally different than the scientific definition. Okay, qualitative or quantitative? Several arrows means qualitative. You don't have any numbers, but it's better to be quantitative. You get more detailed information. Now I'm afraid of using accurate or precise. So we'll just say you get more detailed information, and it involves numbers. This is Screencast 2.7.